What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. This is TWA Motorsports and today, yes, we're working on the Tahoe. So in the first video on this thing, obviously I showed you guys uh, me buying it, what I paid for it, the whole process of picking it up. The second video, we got this thing running. So it is running good, but um, this interior is gross. And so I've met with my upholstery guy. He said that he is ready. Uh, just I can dro drop these seats off basically he's not really ready right now but I can drop the seats off whenever so today I want to start the cleaning process of the interior now I know that body shop work is going to make a lot of dust and we'll probably have to clean it again but believe me the second time cleaning is way easier so I want to talk about some of the things I want to get clean probably going to end up replacing the carpet but for now we're going to see how clean we can get it um, I'm going to get the seats out of place and no my son's not sitting there I've just got it I moved it out of another car. Um, we're going to get both this, all the seats out of place. We're going to get the console out. Uh, we're probably going to get the spare tire out of the back. And you can see it came with an extra mirror. I don't know why. I guess because it's kind of beat up on that side. But um, yeah, we've got our work cut out for us, guys. I want to clean up all of these door jams, all of this dust and debris. Now, like I said, the body shop's going to make a lot more dust. But it's way easier to go over it a second time. I want to clean up all these plastics, but the very first thing I want to do is get all the seats out because that gives me a nice um, area to clean. I can get uh, the panels out of the way and all the stuff that I need if I get the seats out first. So let's do that. So I'm going to set you guys up on a tripod, and which is good because it's kind of windy today and I don't want you guys to catch a ton of wind noise, but we're going to start with the driver's side seat, I guess, and then just work our way back. So, oh my gosh, what a mess. And, um, you know, I knew it was going to be like this. But I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take all the big trash out, all the coins, and separate that just so my vacuum doesn't have to pick up uh, big chunky stuff. But uh, not too bad, to be honest with you. 15 millimeters take the seat out. Uh, you've got a couple Phillips screws to take the trim panels off to get to those. And then 10 millimeter just on the front side of the console, and then it slides forward. You don't even have to take that bracket back. Uh, or loose in the back and then t50 for your seat belts uh, pretty common size on gm stuff but i'm gonna go ahead get all the junk like i said the big stuff out of the way all the coins and uh, then we'll move on to the back seat
now we have just about everything out as far as like panels and obviously seats uh, it's it's cleaning up I think it's gonna clean up pretty good I'll show you guys here up front I did uh, mess with one little panel off camera but I went ahead and got the seal plates out of the way but now um, I'll show you that here in just a second I'm gonna start on the door jams so you can see the door jams are absolutely filthy I'm gonna be using my steam cleaner for that and we're gonna blow all those out get those nice and clean now I understand that we're gonna make a huge mess when it gets painted but like I said the second time cleaning is way easier I want to get all this dirt and grime out I don't want him to be painting across the panel and a bunch of dirt shoot out so let's go look at this panel that I just I went over lightly and that's this panel right here and you can see this is broken I've got to get a new one of those but uh, that panel cleaned up really really well so I think I also did a small spot here on the door panel um, I think it's gonna clean up pretty good guys now the carpet probably a loss I'm gonna scrub on it anyway but let's go get uh, the steamer going and get all these door jams cleaned out. And once we get the door jams cleaned out, then we'll move on to like some of the interior panels because I have a couple uh, brushes that I'm gonna try for the first time on panels. And, uh, but anyway, let's get, this, let's get these door jams knocked out. So guys, after a couple of hours of doing this, uh, I think I've got the back uh, pretty good. And it looks a lot better, that's for sure. Got all the uh, grease and grime now. You can see how bad it was. It's all over the windows. And then check out out here. <laughs> Look at how much junk flew out of this thing. It's crazy. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the door jams and I'll basically just show you guys once I'm finished with it. I actually think they might be a little bit easier because there's not quite as much stuff going on. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and knock those out and then we'll move on to the interior because I've blown a lot of trash in here. I'm gonna have to vacuum it one more time and then we'll start on those panels hopefully. Guys, I've probably been out here for two or three hours cleaning these door jams. They are looking way better. You can see um, it's about as clean as they're gonna come. So uh, the cool thing is, is now that I've got them clean, they're way easier to keep this way. But now we're gonna move on to the interior. So on the interior, what we're gonna do is I've got my brush. You can see it on my drill here. And I'm gonna start on these interior pieces. So I'm gonna be using some all-purpose cleaner and I'll list that down in the description below like always. But I'm gonna spray it down. I'm gonna use this to kind of agitate it and then wipe it down. So that'll be kind of the first pass and we'll kind of look at it and see what it looks like. We may have to go more than one pass and uh, we'll probably come back and dress it at some point. Uh, but for now, I just want to get the interior panels clean. Now, one side, you can see this side's way worse than the other, but uh, let's get started.
Well, guys, I've been out here for about, oh my gosh, probably eight hours or more. And I think I've got all the panels clean. I didn't do these back here in the very back, but I think I'm gonna take those off to clean them. But I did go over this with a little bit of um, dressing and it's just, it's not sticky or oily. It's actually by Chemical Guys and I'll list it in the description down below, but what a difference. Now there's some spots that didn't come out and I probably will go over it one more time, but we got the door jams clean. You can see how much better they look and it's like night and day as far as that goes. And then the door panels look pretty good. I didn't show you guys me doing the dash. Uh, I thought I was filming, but apparently I wasn't. And uh, I did get it finished though. I've got all the door panels clean. So at this point, um, I probably can go ahead and have my upholstery guy take the headliner out. But um, I guess I could go ahead and pull a lot of the panels for him. He's gonna redo the headliner obviously. But I think the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the carpet. Now I did test my steam cleaner in a couple spots. I'll show you back here. I did it back here in the back. Check this out. Look how clean that came that one little square right there so I don't know that I'm necessarily going to use my steam cleaner now my steam cleaner is great at doing like spot cleaning so like it'll probably get a spot like that out or those spots that are under the seat but it's not really good at big huge areas um, it's just it's just not it's not meant to do stuff like that it is meant to clean cars and it's great for like blowing a piece of tar out or a piece of gum uh, but as far as like going over this whole carpet, I think we're going to need an extractor. So I might go ahead, like I did on a Tahoe a while back, I might rent an extractor. But I am going to vacuum this one more time, and then we'll see if we can do some spot cleaning. I'm, I'm also going to use, I've got a bigger brush than what I was using on the panels. And uh, so I'll use that in conjunction with the all-purpose cleaner. And then, like I said, I might go ahead and rent an extractor, and we will see exactly how clean this thing comes. So guys, it is the next day, and uh, unfortunately, they are not currently renting uh, carpet cleaners due to this virus and pandemic that's going on, so we're just going to have to improvise with something else. Now, I've always wanted to buy one of those, and maybe I'll end up buying one, but what I did get is an attachment for my shop vac, and you can see I've got some duct tape on it because it doesn't quite fit like it's supposed to. Um, the downside is I'm not going to be able to see. It's not clear like the extractors are, so you're not really going to be able to see. I'm just going to ba basically uh, look at the carpet and what's coming out of the carpet as opposed to being able to see what's coming in the wand, which kind of sucks. But also got some Folex cleaner. I'll list this in the description down below. This works great on carpet. And then I have my drill brush, which is a lot bigger than the one we were just using on the panels. Uh, covers a lot more area. So I'm going to really kind of soak this down scrub it down with the brush and then we're going to try to vacuum it up now i will say that this has a little more power than your cheaper extractors because um just the suction on a shop vac like what i've got here just just has way more power so and a majority of that uh, of your carpet cleaning comes in the suction part so once we get it I think we'll be able to do a pretty good job with this. We'll just have to see, and then if I don't like it, we can always go over it a second time. It's probably gonna take a couple passes anyway, but I think I'm gonna start up front where the driver sets and uh, kind of work my way over and then back. So guys, it's doing a fairly okay job. Um, not great. I figured it'd do a little bit better than this. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and order just a cheap extractor. Um, like I said, I can't rent one right now. Normally I would rent one and take it back, but for the price I can rent one for a couple days, I can actually almost buy just like an entry level one. And I have a certain one in mind 
So basically, I'm going to go over this, kind of scrub this down, let this stuff set until I get it. It's supposed to be here in a couple days, and then we'll hit this again, um, and you guys will see a definite difference in the outcome. I, I think that if you probably went over this over and over and over, you might be able to get it pretty clean with what I've got here, but it's just not doing quite as quick as I want it to do. And like I said, I think the extractor will work a little better. So we'll cut to the next time, uh, or when my extractor comes in.